Westchester. I made a wrong turn. And holy God. I got that camera attached to my head. Let's make sure we agree with the angles that you are seeing. This is what I want you to see. That is attached to my head. That is what you're seeing. Um, I I was looking for the Acme jackass was filmed. Well, I wasn't looking for it. I made a wrong turn and I wound up in Westchester. You ever do that? I wanted to go with Delaware and I made a wrong turn. It's okay. It's okay. I'm happy where I'm at. Um, let's do it. Back streets, Westchester. So there's like a little village of shops. Oh, it looks like, you know, straight out of a movie. There you go. And uh, look at these rooms. It's, it's, it's a magical land here at Westchester. Uh, yeah, I went to an Acme. Or as my grandma would say, an Acme. Wow, look at these row homes. Ain't they nice? Probably not to people who don't live in cities with row homes, but yeah, wow. So I went to this Acme and I said to the guy, you know, I looked for a kid like in their 20s. I said, yeah, is this where they film Jackass? And he said, I don't know, what's Jackass? I said, oh, you're 20, I guess. I guess that's not hip, huh? Not <laughs> hip. Who the fuck says hip? Look at this building, though. Holy shit. Beautiful. Everywhere you go. I know it's crazy. In Philly, like these porches and shit, they're, they're, they're like falling apart in some of the houses. Wow. Really pretty area. Uh, let's check out the cars. What we got? Volvos. Lexuses. Okay. So we're, look, we're talking upper middle class here. Upper middle class area. And nobody in the Acme. I asked like six people. I said, yeah, is this where they film Jackass? Old people, young people, middle-aged people. And nobody knew. It's just weird. What is this? Going a brisk eight. So, yeah, I, I was trying. I, then I, I, I was going to scoot to, not scoot to Wilmington, go to drive my car to Wilmington. And I was like, oh, you know what? This, fuck, this place looks pretty uh, amazing. Let's check out wherever I'm at, and then, I, I didn't, I didn't, how you doing, Backstreet Barry? I didn't, um, wow, that's a tiny street, huh? I, I so, fo I so didn't know where I was, I had to Google, where am I? Here we go, this is it, the big time shopping district, 40 Torty, the public house. And then, I was really, really excited because I thought maybe Mark the Bagger worked at the Acme, but I felt weird asking for him. So this is, I don't know what this strip is. That's artisan food. That's a new word they have. It's not new word. It's been, that's what they do. If they make bread and they want to charge it $16, they just slap that word artisan. Doesn't, I don't even know. This is an artisan YouTube video. See, doesn't mean anything. Okay, so what's this then? This is a big building. This must be a courthouse. Oh. This is Market Street, okay. Oh, you know, there's a bar. I'm a big fan of a uh, jackass. And there's a bar they hang out at. Well, not they, Bam. And you know what, technically, I don't think Bam's part of it anymore. I think they gave him the boot. There they are, getting ready to get ready to celebrate the holidays. Big time. The Nutcracker, they're doing that at the brandywineballet.org. There it is, the Chester Courthouse. Everybody out singing this song. Does this historical marker belong? The first published biography of Abraham Lincoln was pretty in this building. 
In 1860, it was prepared from uh, Lincoln's own notes and served, wow, big time. Wow, what's going on? These guys, a lot of people walking around in Christmas hats looking for, it must be a scavenger hunt. Be careful, I got arrested on this. Well, it's not really true. Wow, this is nice. Look at all these, uh... Holy Lord, look at this building. And then they got the whole Kensington ad. If you watch my Kensington videos, in the 90s, they had this stuff lined underneath the L, up and down. Oh, what's this building? Oh, it's a whole lot of what's this going on. Old glory. Oh, what happened here? During the holiday season, we give thanks to our troops. Wow, oh, oh, big time, old time water fountain. Look at this. Wow, look at this bank across the street. So down there, that was a dog water fountain and that was for the horses. Um, town drinking fountain for people, horses, and dogs from 1869. No, it says it right there, and people would drink from this section. Oh, and they got a uh, a giddy up. I oh, know that's up there, right? Uh oh, there he is. What is this building? Hold on, I got, I, got a, I got a whole lot of things going on. District Court. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate to be this type of guy, but I'm this type of guy. Wow, okay, so this is a government courthouse. And they got the Ten Commandments on the wall of a government building. <sighs> There's a Christmas tree. I gotta tell you, that that bothers me so much that... Oh, that's creepy. I couldn't... There's a time capsule from 18, it was sealed in 1983, and it's going to be opened at the court, oh, I don't even know what a court, yeah, you can't have that, you can't do that, you can't have a government, there's no religion in government, or, yeah, yeah, that's how it's, wow, look at this building, oh, this is, there's a lot of things going on here. There's a historical marker across the street that I gotta see. Chester was one of the three boroughs. Uh, by... William Darlington, physician, congressman, began service of 33 years at the Bank of Chester building. Uh, he died in 1863. Wow. And then they got this building. They got all kinds of shit carved into it. Not the Ten Commandments, but baseball players. I like that better. Have a few baseball players. Looks like there's two colonial guys getting ready to kiss. Holy shit. When's the last time you've seen a coin store? They got a coin store. I guess crossing at the green light would be a better idea. Wow. 
There used to be a coin store on Allegheny Ave near Allegheny and Jasper. There's a Lorenzo's Pizza. That's the pizza shop on South Street. I, uh, highly overrated, I think. There's a juice and taco bar. Irish bar. Public house. Wow. The couch to, a lot of cafes. Oh, look at these people. Wearing the nose. Oh, here's another one. This is the, the whole video. It's just be going, oh, look at this. Check out this. Old time firehouse. Let's get this. Wow, that's pretty cool. Seventeen ninety nine. There's a bookstore. Ooh. Restaurants, taverns, boy, whatever you need. Well, there's a piano store, there's a guitar store. Oh, who signed this? To Lenny, best of. Oh, I don't know who that is. Hmm. Oh, Creep Records, holy shit. That's a record store in Fishtown. Used to be a, uh, I don't know if they still are a punk label, but they were a punk label. This is more of a walk than a scoot. Insomnia Cook, wow, they, what they do? They got the best of Philadelphia on the street. They got Loren well, Lorenzo's Pizza shit, I'll be honest with you, I don't like it. Well, that looks like that school lane now. Oh, here we go. Happy birthday, Eric. We're going the wrong way. The Pita Pit Creep Records. This is an old time spot. Look at this. Laurentos. Gay Street Commons. I guess we're on Gay Street. Yeah, I really don't know much about Westchester. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious, but... What the fuck? This is... Okay. Yeah, a lot of construction going on in this area. I was stuck at, you ever see those people who wave the flags and they turn the sign, one sign says slow, the other sign said stop. I was stuck on a route for five minutes. The guy had stopped for five minutes. I listened to the Born to Run, the whole song. And, uh, Chester County history. Huh. There's a whole building right here. I started my day a little late today, so I don't know. Oh, 
it smells good here. Whatever. That looks like there's a restaurant. Alright, go this way. Back streets, Westchester. Gay Street, that was definitely Gay Street. Here in a chestnut. Can we talk about the weather? It is 50. I thank you, guy. 55? 55 degrees right now. I'm just I'm rocking a hoodie. This guy, look, he's got t-shirt. Alright, that guy's being a pussy. He don't need a hat. He don't need a hat. Westchester, I you told me. I would do a scooter ride in Westchester, I tell you, you're fucking nuts. No way. What the hell's in Westchester? Turns out there's a lot of boutique shops and fancy restaurants. Who knew? Well, I'm sure people who live here did. But not me. I do this thing, I think everybody knows the same thing I know, like everybody's on the same level as me, so I, <laughs> but I tell you, this new scooter is fantastic on the bumpy roads, thank you sir, what nice people here in Westchester. Alright, I think, I think we're going to wrap this up, I mean we got it, right, it's nice, they got some old shit, they got some new shit. A lot of it's on Gay Street. Pretty easy to remember. Walnut Street, Chestnut Street. Looks like they stole everything from us. We don't. Do we have it? Manny on Kazakh Gay Street. Uh. We're gonna go down. Uh, we're gonna go to do a little zippy poo down market. Look, see, these people big time. We're talking six figures a year. And they don't even... These are the people who pay off their student debts. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. Our rival of the citizens of Westchester. Meter made guy. Meter made... Ooh, meter made guy? I guess meter made is, is, is a... Is a term we don't use anymore. Yeah, big time money here. Oh, uh, there's a Porsche. Yeah, okay. I got it. No big deal. I don't see... I'm looking around. I don't think... I don't... There hasn't been a no good nick in these parts, you know, except for me. Oh, we got a mural. Let's check out their mural. Women. They had the right to vote. 100 years. Last year. Yeah, I'm telling you. It has like a New Hope type of vibe. I reached a point in my life that I need a word stronger than fuck. Huh. Oh, there's an Elks Lodge. What is it? You know, hope, hope I didn't make plans for dinner because I'm stuck at this red light for the rest of my life. Holy shit. Yeah, not one no good, Nick. Oh, let's do a John Green Memorial Park. Kinda. Blah. Yeah. 
That's right. When in Rome, no skateboarding doesn't say shit about scoot. Oh, chain nets. Oh, look at that basketball. Sometimes you find basketballs and things. And... Scooter's doing good. Only two battery power things used. Oh, uh, you gonna do it? All right, we're gonna do it. Ready? American Gladiators. No, not actually, just not American Gladiators. What's that show? Uh, Wipeout. Well, that was fun, huh? <laughs> Somebody staring at me. Okay. All right, back on it. Well, this is a saga. The twenty-hour scooter ride in Westchester. No problem. They got the fancy trash cans. That's a way to tell if you're in a good area. This is true. If they got trash cans like this, hmm. that means you're in a pretty good spot when they got. If they have the wire trash cans with trash bags. Talking lower middle class. That's okay. I'm lower middle class. So, don't think I'm judging. There's a firehouse marker, insurance marker, old archways. This is a far, far, wow. All right. Well, we got we got a lot of scooter power left. Maybe we can get another scoot in. We'll go somewhere else. Maybe Wilmington, Delaware. I got a lot of shit to do today. So much shit that I got lost in Westchester looking for the jackass act me. I went to the I went to uh there's a movie called Summer Rental with John Candy. It's it's one of my favorite movies. See, they got old time houses like this. With the river rocks. Um and John Candy, they filmed this movie. Oh, there he is! Hello, scooter friend. Good to see you. Yes, nice day about. Uh, parked right here. Fantastic. Um, so I went. I went to this restaurant. It was called Scully's, and in the movie it was called Scully's, and in, in real life it's called Scully's. It's a real restaurant, and uh, they they didn't know any anybody working there. Nobody working there knew anything about summer rental it blew my mind it was it was 2004 summer rental was filmed in uh 1984 85 there it is don't forget folks that guy right there jesus is the reason for the season but don't have him writing anything on my courthouse it's not about that So I went to the Springfield Mall earlier. All right. Let me show you my new car. I got a new car. Uh, where did I park? That's the problem when you have a new car. You, you forget. I'm looking for a red Jeep. I, I haven't had a red Jeep in a week. Ah, oh, shit. I lost my car. Look at this sense. Man, the railing work is beautiful. Yeah, it's dirty. That's dirty. You could, somebody could get punctured on these. Oh, there's my car. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Let me know. What do you think of my new car? Doodles!